Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Jets TV. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe guys, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Um, you know, please share the videos as well. It's always good to hear comments from different people um, and just kind of gets the show out there. So thank you guys that do share, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, it's greatly appreciated guys. And I, I try to respond as fast as possible as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get it rolling. Uh, let's go ahead and get into my week three uh, recap of my picks. So first game I talked about was the Cowboys and the Rams. I uh, picked the Cowboys to win. That's exactly what the Cowboys did. Uh, the Cowboys beat the Rams 34 to 31. Um, I said, you know, if the Cowboys, Cowboys should beat the Rams handily. But if they come out, turn the ball over, things could get hairy. And that's exactly what happened. Tony Romo, 18 to 23, 217 yards. He had two TDs. He also had a very bad interception to Janoris Jenkins. Jenkins ended up running the ball back for a touchdown. Uh, DeMarco Murray, 24 of 100 yards. Uh, he had a TD as well. He also had a fumble and lost it. Um, you know, at one point, the Cowboys were down 21-0 in this game. Uh, you know, St. Louis was doing what they had to do. Davis, the, the St. Louis quarterback, he was 30-42, 327 yards. He had three TDs. He also had two bad interceptions. Zach Stacy got in the game as well uh, for St. Louis, 12 carries, 67 yards. St. Louis... You know, which is trying to trying to keep, you know, stay steady the course and keep it rolling. But Dallas just got back into the game eventually. And they just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing until they got the lead back uh, by three. And, uh, uh, you know, Claiborne, the Cowboys cornerback, was able to get an interception to kind of seal the deal for them at the last second. So shout out to the Cowboys. I picked the Cowboys. That got me a win. So good luck to them. Uh, Buccaneers, Falcons. I picked the Falcons to win. I said that they would destroy the Buccaneers. That's exactly what they did. I didn't think they beat them by the, by this much, but man, the Falcons beat the Buccaneers 56 to 14. This was just a travesty. I mean, you can talk about the stats. You can talk about the fact that the starter McNown for the Bucks only five for 12. He only had 58 yards throwing the ball, and he had one bad. He had an interception, but it was just like the the Falcons beat them in every phase of the game. Defense, special teams, everything. Devin Hester returned a touchdown, returned two two kicks for a touchdown uh, in this game. He also broke Deion Sanders' record and uh, for returns. And you know Matt Ryan had a QBR of ninety nine point seven. He was twenty one of twenty four. He had two hundred eighty six yards. He also had three TDs. I mean, you know Jackson got in the game. He was fourteen carries, fifty four yards. The defense was dominant. I mean, it was just so bad. It was just so bad to watch, and Atlanta just destroyed Tampa Bay. That's pretty much all you need to know about this game. I mean, they just they just laid waste to them. So, again, I picked the Falcons to win. They got themselves a win. That got me my second win of the week. So let's talk about, last but not least, the Jets game. Uh, Bears-Jets, I picked the Bears to win, and that's exactly what they did, 27-19. Geno Smith looked terrible in this game. He looked so terrible. He threw interceptions early. Uh, he was 26 of 43. He had 316 yards. He had a TD. He had two bad interceptions. The first interception he threw was on one of our first plays of the game. It was on a screen. Uh, it was supposed to be Chris Johnson. I don't know if Chris Johnson, if he thought that Chris Johnson was looking or what. But when he launched that ball, he launched it literally straight into the arms of nothing but bears over there. And they caught that ball, ran that back for a TD. And it just kept rolling for there. Jalen Saunders comes out. He must have must punt. Boom. <laughs> that's return, you know, that's got picked up and that scored on later on. I mean, it was just, it was just bad. Everything was just bad early, but we kept battling. We got back somewhat into the game. Uh, we were able to get to Cutler uh, with, with, the, with the blitz. Demario Davis got in there. Cutler looks, he, you know, he dropped the ball. It looked like a fumble. He fumbles. Demario Davis picks it up, runs it back. They wave it off. They said they called the ball dead and they gave it back to the Bears. We challenge it. Turns out it was a fumble, uh, but, you know, now we don't get to TD. Again, offense was struggling all night long. Uh, stupid play calling by Marty Morningwig. It was just bad. I mean, Cutler, you know, he was 23 of 38. He had two TDs, 225 throwing. Uh, you know, we held Matt Forte to 33 yards. Uh, you know, Alshon Jeffrey only had eight catches, 105 yards. You know, we held Brandon Marshall to one catch. He only had six yards in the game. And it was just like the defense did their job, but our offense was trash. Complete trash. And, uh, you know, Martellus Bennett, like I said, I, I thought Martellus Bennett was a scary matchup. He had five catches, 54 yards. He had two TDs. One of his TDs, nobody was even covering him. 
I mean, these, these, it was just, it, 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 it was bad. It was bad offensively. There were some miscues defensively, like I said, that Martellus Bennett uh, touched down. One of our new corners, uh, Adams, he had no clue who he was supposed to be covering. He let Martellus Bennett just go. But for the most part, the defenses would really kept us in this game. Our offense was just complete trash. Um, Chris Ivory, 10, 10 rushes for 44 yards. Chris Ivory was the dominant running back in this game. He was the hot hand. He had four catches for 54 yards uh, as well. But for some reason, on our last drive down, because we were only down by eight uh, in the fourth quarter with like three minutes, three plus minutes to, to go, and we took him totally out of the game, put Bilal Powell and Chris Johnson in. It just it didn't make any sense. It's just dumb play calling, bad roster management, bad quarterback play, just equals a loss for the Jets. And I'm just... I was really frustrated watching this game and just really frustrated with just our, our trash offense. And it's just it's just getting worse. Decker ended up getting hit hurt in the game as well or re-injuring his hamstring, which he shouldn't have been playing anyway, but whatever. Um, and he ended up being out of the game. So we're, we might be short him next game because he probably isn't going to play and he shouldn't play. He should heal up, get better, and then come back 100%. But, you know, that's not the way we work here uh, with Jets football. So just 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 idiotic stuff. So. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe again, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, share the videos. You know, this was a tough week, but I got wins, even though one of the, one of the teams I picked was going against the Jets still got me a win. So that's three wins for the week, guys. So please, guys, stay tuned. Um, my week four video is coming up soon. So thank you guys for watching, man. Go Jets.